This is Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations. The Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, has announced that Nigeria's oil production for the month of July rose to 1.3 million barrels per day. This figure means that Nigeria remains the biggest oil producing country in Africa ahead of Angola and Congo. This morning, we will be examining the implications for Nigeria's economy and projections for the rest of the year as we speak with oil and gas expert Joe Nwakwe. Mr. Nwakwe, good morning and welcome to the conversation. Good morning and I'm glad to be here. What is, um, can I ask, what led to the rise in the figures reported for Nigeria's uh, oil production? Um, okay, um, so what we've seen uh, in the last, uh, I would say, two, three years is that um, uh, depending on what is happening in the field, we've had um, a, either a reduction or a, a restoration of developed capacity. Uh, if you notice uh, last year, if you trend in monthly production, you will see it's been going up and down. So it's not surprising. Uh, what Typically, there are two issues there. Uh, there are fields that are offline uh, due to pipeline issues. And there are fields that were under well that are equally offline due to uh, one problem or the other. So when you when you work on those, uh, you can restream those uh, fields and bring back that, that volume. So Nigeria's developed capacity is probably out of 2 million. Mr. Wakwe, let me interrupt you and ask, are you saying that the 1.3 million that we recorded is as a result of developed capacity or something that changed with our capacity or is it that um, we are plugging loopholes because we know that security agencies have been talking about uh, clamping down on oil theft? Okay, so that's part of it, but I'm not sure that's all of it. Um, what I to explain is that we have a, a developed capacity that's probably 2 million barrels of oil per day. Um, it's been going up and down. Uh, when you have shut in, field shut in, of course your output will go down. When you bring it back, your output will go up. Um, that we had 1.3, I think that's what OPEC has reported. Mm. Uh, that means that our output for that month will be something like 1.6. Or 1.55, thereabouts. That's including because, condensates. Yep, yes, what of egg report is crude. It does not include the condensate. The condensate, condensate is anywhere between 250 to 300 a month, a day, 200,000 a day. So when you add that to it, it means that you, you that month you were able to produce about 1. 1.5, 1.6 million barrels a day. The point I am making is that it indicates one of three things. is either we were able to restore some shopping wells or we were able to address some theft locations. They've identified maybe a location where we were losing volumes and it's been plugged. Or you've been able to restore lines that were not producing. Uh, in, the pre- in the previous month. So it's one of those, I couldn't say specifically which of them is responsible. It, it means some work has been done. Mr. Angwakwe, with the news of refineries possibly coming on stream, do you expect this output, uh, this output to increase even further? Well, that has been my hope um, that we are able to, because all of this work requires money, right? So if you're replacing a pipeline system or you're cutting out areas, um, you're working over a well, or you're bringing in new production, I think Nigeria added a new field uh, sometime two or three months back. So all of this requires money. So, yes, I hope that they find the resources to continue to restore the short-term capacity. Some uh, experts. Yes, I was not. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Well, I, I guess I would say analysts in this case, right? Some analysts are quite hopeful that if we're hitting 1.3 of just crude and we're seeing increases, that there's a possibility that 
crude plus um, condensates by the end of this year will actually hit uh, 1.7 that was initially projected. Or, although I think that 1.7 was actually projected for just crude alone. I'm, I, I can't say that I'm too certain. Do you agree with this estimation? Are you as hopeful? Well, hope, hope is not a strategy. I, I hope, I, I, you know, you could say yes. But I would, nice to see a plan to restore capacity. It would nice to see a plan to raise, the, you know, raise money. Because what, like I said, this requires resources. So you need money, you need technical capacity to be able to go in and, and do the work that is necessary. Uh, so it would be good for the country in that way. Um, it's not just feeding our refineries. Even if we store the crude, uh, it will have accretion in our uh, in our reserve account for forex. So overall, and that that will mean uh, that the naira will be on, under less pressure. So clearly, it is an it's important that we restore those volumes. Mr. Um, right, Mr. Mwakwe, and I know that yes. I do apologize for cutting you short, but I just wanted to say thank you very much for your time and your expertise on the conversation. Joe Nwakwe is an oil and gas expert. He joined us this morning to speak on the OPEC um, on OPEC's report that says Nigeria's bar, uh, Nigeria's oil production per day for the month of July rose to 1.3 million barrels. You're still on to Radio Now 95.3 FM Lagos. The conversations continue shortly. This is... Radio Now 95.3 FM. Come for the news, stay for informed conversations.